Hi, welcome. My name is Gerilyn, um, and this is my channel about cross stitch and a few other crafty things. Um, it's December 7th, and so that means it is the seventh day of Flossmas, and things are going pretty well. Um, thanks for stopping by. Um, in case you're new here, my name is Gerilyn, and I um, go by Jer, Jer X Stitches on Instagram. So pop on over and follow me there if you use Instagram. Um, yeah, let's talk about cross stitching and knitting and all the things. So if you're new here, I've been doing two um, like advent countdown crafty things. Uh, the Ever Evertotes Holiday Countdown, so it's Evertote, Modern Folk Embroidery, Leo and Roxy Collab Holiday Countdown, um, where we open a new envelope every day with a little tiny piece of a pattern and a new color of floss that we stitch with that day. So I've been really enjoying that. Um, the other thing that I am doing is the Imagine Landscapes Gnome Knit Along. Gnome Made Gifts is this year's gnome. Um, and this is my third knit along gnome and I've made a few others. Um, so I really enjoy Sarah's designs and yeah, so I am going to try to make this really quick. I actually, uh, just fell asleep in the chair when I got home from work for a few minutes. Self-induced lack of sleep from just staying up too late, refusing to be a grown up and go to bed. Um, I think I'm naturally a night owl. Um, I like staying up late and doing all of the fun things and then suffer for it in the morning. But uh, I'm going to try to get back on schedule today uh, as best as I can. So let's do this really quick so I can do dinner and all the family things and then get stitching and go to sleep. Um, so I opened my holiday countdown this morning. Um, I don't think I saw any spoilers today on Instagram, which I wasn't spoiled because I opened it early this morning. So, um, but nevertheless I'm gonna pop that video in right here all right day seven unboxing here I am hopefully for the last time with a less than ideal filming situation um, so I'm gonna try to do this with one hand Oh, look at this one. Poinsettia. And it's gorgeous. Come on. It's a really pretty deep jewel tone red. Uh, with a little bit of, I don't know, it's reading slightly brick, but like a bright red at the same time. So here are all the colors together now. I think those reds are going to play really well together. Okay, let me quick take a peek at the, whoa, that's interesting. All right, so Gotta read the symbols here. So it looks like there's some red that will go like in these empty spots here. Um, in, I lied, nope. Well, sort of, it's like the other side of these triangles. Uh, and then, of course, in here, the empty spots have been waiting for something there. Looks like a little mini type flower similar to this shape but much smaller. And then mm, okay so this chart is split in two so there's like a break and then we go all the way down to 
what I think is this row. So they show this line as the top of the next chunk. And then down here will be a fairly large row. It looks like it's uh, 14 or so um, spaces tall uh, with two hearts in it. So we're going to be putting some hearts down here, right here, with the two uh, band lines again. So I don't see any extra symbols at first glance, or not extra, but symbols that um, are from the previous day's colors yet. So yeah, I really like this color. I'll look with the colors that we already have. Beautiful. I'm excited to stitch later. All right, gorgeous color, right? Um, I'm super excited. I think it'll be a pretty quick stitch, maybe. Famous last words, right? Um, so we'll see. Uh, once I got to work, I uh, got, I don't know how long, it doesn't matter how long it was. Um, I received my clue for the gnome knit along from Sarah today and I think we might be starting on the gnome body. So it's a little bit interesting though because usual in the past you start with the hat like you, because um, we've already knit the hat, right? So uh, usually you pick up stitches on the inside brim of the hat and then you like work in the round down and then you close her up at the end once you're stuffed. I don't think that's what Sarah's doing this time. So we cast on a pretty decent amount of stitches. I think it's like 30 or 40. And then we knit up to around 60. Uh, I think there's some pattern like multi mixing of colors in there. And then we leave a, we put um, a loop of yarn through all of our working stitches and then take it off the needles. So I don't know what Sarah has up her sleeve, but it's interesting. And that's kind of what I love about these knit-alongs is I learn new t skills and techniques um, and just different ways of doing things, whether I remember them again or not when it's time for another project. Some things I do pick up, some things I do have to jog my memory. Um, but she always has really great tutorials, so she'll refer back to a different tutorial if it already applies. And if she doesn't already have a tutorial, she will film one particular for that gnome. So um, you're never really left without a lot of support or assistance. So that's awesome. Needless to say, long story short, I it's time to open our third package from this is the complimentary, not complimentary as in free, but like a compliment to this knit along from the Loopy U. So I ordered, I pre-ordered my yarn um, pack colorway. Um, there were two different choices. I uh, ordered Rudolph's favorites. And then I added on the optional um, 12 packages for surprises throughout. So now it's time for clue three. Super cute uh, gift wrap bags too. Uh, ooh. Oh, that's super adorable. Get this label. I'm 100% keeping this label. It's so cute. And it's mulling spice. So it says simmer one quart of apple cider or red wine or a combination of both with two tablespoons of spice. For extra flavor, add apple wedges or orange slices. Let simmer 30 minutes. Strain, serve warm in cups, and enjoy. So it has orange peel, clove, allspice, and cinnamon. Um, and it looks like it's made by a small business in California. So, really fun packaging. I have some mulling spice, but it's probably a few years old. Those things don't last forever. So, I am excited to give that a try. Maybe not tonight, but um, at some point soon. Okay, so I did a little bit. So, I finished uh, my day six. Um, holiday countdown stitching. It only took me maybe just under two hours yesterday. Um, I tried to keep track the day before and I finished and then I ran and got another project and I kept stitching and then I remember that I had a timer going because I don't usually stitch with a timer or track how long I've, I've stitched. So yesterday I didn't time it but like kind of based on the activities that I was doing while I was uh, stitching I was able to kind of figure out how long it took me 
um, and, and as an estimate at least. Um, yeah, and so then, sorry, train of thought, I'm tired. Um, so then I picked up my other stitching, and I'll insert a picture of it here. I stitched Prairie Schooler Christmas Eve, um, but I didn't bring it up with me to where I'm filming. So I'll put a picture in that I posted on Instagram yesterday. Um, and then I um, purchased the, um, oh, Gerilyn, for Boys and a Newfoundland, Newfoundland Girl Designs. It's the, um, life is hard when you're overtired. Uh, the 2022, I don't know if it's technically an ornament, but it's like the 2022 design. So six. this was $8 Canadian, $6 of that $8, um, which is all of the proceeds, um, is going to Muscular Dystrophy Canada. So it was a fun little, like, essentially freebie for a, a small donation. So it's a cute pattern. I also am participating in her ornament sale. So it's like three weeks. I think you can still join. It's one ornament a week. Um, actually, I shouldn't say, like, I signed up for it. I'm not participating in the sale. So the first ornament is out. I've printed it. I mean, that's the start, right? Um, I don't know that I'm going to stitch it this year, but it's super cute. It's a seagull with, like, a little piece of driftwood that has the year on it. Um, so she's a fun new designer that I've discovered. Um, I have a little bit of, um, haul. I received my Jingle Ball, um, ornament book today. Um, and there's a sticker in here somewhere, a little mini Jingle Ball sticker. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I just love this logo. It's so cute. Um, so fun ornaments in there. This Satsuma one is super cute. Um, you stitch them all on perforated paper and then you hook them together with an ornament. Here's what the, you've probably seen this on other people's or you have one yourself. Um, those are the 12 ornaments from the, each designer had an exclusive ornament that goes in that book. And then I did order, it's like a Jingle Ball finery, like finishing pack by uh, Lady Dot Creates. She kind of, um, I don't even know the words are really hard. Sorry. She put together a little pack that would go with the ornaments. And then Lindy Stitches made these little, um, like she called them dance cards, uh, the, the little like buttons with like holiday, um, pictures on them. So that's really fun. I don't, um, have a lot of this type of notion finishing stuff because I'm mostly a quilter. So, um, and ornaments are relatively new to me. So it's nice to have a little pack of extras. And then I did stop by my LNS yesterday and pick up the December, 2022, um, exclusive color from Emma's Yarn. Um, my option was a full skein or a mini 20 gram skein. They didn't have any halves. Um, so I went with a full instead of um, one or two of the minis. And it's uh, like a really fun, it's like not overly Christmassy, but it's like those colors, but they're like bright and like pink, like pink and turquoise green instead of like your traditional um, green. The pictures that I saw online, I was like, mm, mm. and then I stopped to look at it in person. I was just like, I stopped to get the black, the new Blackbird book. They didn't have it yet. Um, and then I, so I saw them in person and I was like, oh yeah, no, those are really cute. So these will maybe be a sock someday. Socks. This will maybe be socks someday. Um, yeah. Uh, that's all I have for you. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a great night stitching and um, all the things. And I will see you back tomorrow. Bye.